Well, today I just finished running some more wire on my boat for my project. But one of the wires I had to run was some wire that I should have run before. Um, I have a Balmar 614 voltage regulator with a voltage sense on it. And that is a pretty important wire, as it turns out, because it tells the charger what the battery voltage really is, independent of the loads. So should you buy a charger without this separate battery sense wire? And I'd say, I'd say no, it's probably a bad idea to buy a charger without a separate sense wire on it. Um, and so I'm gonna just show you like what, well, and then what size wire should you run for the voltage sense? Because there isn't much current, so does it really matter? Well, I ran an 18 wire. Now I hope it's, I hope I didn't screw up, but because I just ran the wire. But um, I know I, I was gonna show you, um, you know, the, my charger, the Sterling charger, it does have that um, connection. And then I was gonna do a quick test on this, uh, the 18 gauge wire just to see if, if what the, what, what it's going to look, I got a 10 meter piece of, uh, 18 wire and I was going to just, you know, do a quick test for that. All right. Uh, stand by. All right. So I set my power supply up. Uh, right now there's no, um, amps because there's no load. So the end of these wires are bare, and I've got the, um, the connector, the, the inputs, the input leads on the power supply on this end of the wire. And I dialed in uh, 13.8 um, volts. I just set the current on, uh, you can kind of see, when I turn the current down, I lose all the voltage, right? So. I'm just turning the current up just enough to where I get 13.8, 13.81. So that's how I'm set up. And um, so now I'm going to read the voltage at the end and see what, um, same voltmeter and everything, and see what my um, voltage drop is, and then see if we can't explain what, what we're seeing. Okay, what I did was I moved these probes from over here, the leads, to the end of the 10 meter wire. So that's like 30 feet. That's about what I ran today. And my meter is reading 13.8, 13.8. So there is absolutely no voltage drop in this wire. Um, the 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 uh, multimeter consume very little of you know draws very little so there's almost no voltage drop so you can get away with running a pretty small wire I'm going to do one more experiment so my next experiment will be what if I had several devices reading voltage across the same on the same piece of wire and so what I've done to simulate that is I've just hooked up another multimeter here. I don't really care what it says, but it presumably takes, um, draws a little bit of current. So I've got two, two multimeters basically reading vol voltage on the same set of wire, and I'm not seeing any difference. So here I have my constant power, power supply, constant voltage. Uh, and so it's going to give me the number of amps I need. I'm gonna run this load. And I've got the probes um, connected to the end of the wire. So I've got, I've got the load connected and I've got my voltmeter connected. So right now my voltmeter is gonna be the same as the input leads. But I'm sitting on the end of this uh, 10 meter, 30 foot long wire, number 18. And so what I'm trying to do is simulate what the charger is, is going to see um, and, and versus what is happening at the end of the wire. So I'm going to 
I've, I've hooked a switch up here. So I'm going to switch on the load right now. It's kind of hard to do the switch now with one hand. Okay. So the load just went on. I've got 1.6 amps. So the so the power supply is compensating and giving me the number of amps I need to run this load, which is probably about 20 watts. So I've just put 20 watts through here, which isn't that much on number 18. And I'm I'm down to uh, 1187. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to crank up the... Okay, so I cranked up the amps a little bit just to correct for maybe some error that the supply would have been making. But um, right now I'm, I'm, I'm at 12.32 um, and um, I was before at charge voltage. Okay. I was at 13.8, which is LiPo charge um, voltage. So it really takes it down a ton just putting some load on, you know, on the circuit. So, yeah, so there, I got, I lost, I lost 1.5 volts. So what happens is you get a situation that the charger is thinking that um, it's, it's only measuring what it sees coming out of, of the charger. And it doesn't know what's on the end of the line. So if you have a separate, line that the charger is actually monitoring the battery voltage it's far better it's far more efficient and that's why i think it's a bad idea in most cases to buy chargers that uh, have you know especially the more output you have on, on your charger and the more loads you have on the boat the the less you want to have a charger without a voltage sense on it. So my next question was, what about fuses? If I put a fuse in there, is that going to change my output reading? And it turns out, nope, it isn't going to change it. And I actually experimented with different fuse values. Like here I have the probably the highest resistance fuse right here is a one amp. But I tried different fuse and it really doesn't make too much difference. So it's my understanding um, after reading Rod's article that I'm going to link you to in uh, Marine How To, that you shouldn't get a charger without the uh, the sense wire. Uh, this isn't my uh, independent idea. It's uh, it's basically uh, I just read his stuff, um, and then it looks like is based on our experiments here that I feel pretty good about the 18 gauge wire. Um, if you're a marine electrician, maybe you want to uh, give me comments and tell me that it's not a good idea. Um, and then it looks like as long as we just protect it with um, whatever the amp the opacity of an 18 gauge wire, I think somewhere around 20 amps. So somewhere, you know, say if I put a 15 amp breaker in, it'll probably be just fine. And then I can share um, with the Balmar 614, and I'm going to share with the... Um, Sterling BB1260, I'm going to share that same voltage sense, and then I'll keep all the loads off of it. Uh, I might be using it for other things like the voltmeter and everything like that, but I'm going to keep all the, anything that loads, I'm not going to plug it into that wire. And I think that's, that's my, uh, des that's my uh, design uh, discovery. And uh, till next time, I'll see you guys next time uh, when, when I run into something.